Hey guys, so in this section we are gonna cover basically how to make uh, HTTP requests mm -hmm. uh, to other uh, URLs, fetch data from there and uh, make use of that data. Now this is something that we might uh, need to do whether we are uh, on the front end uh, in our browser or whether we are in the back end using Node.js. So in either case uh, we might need. Now uh, traditionally uh, the way to do it in a browser has been using the XML HTTP request uh, uh, class that exists inside the browser this is not a library this is this is something that already exists inside the browser and we make something like this and of course as you can see it looks a bit of convoluted code you have to first create a uh, you have to create xml http request object and you need to add an event listener that event listener will trigger when the data has been loaded and then you make a uh, request type which can be get post put patch delete and then the url and then you send this request so you know uh like multiple lines of code and does not really uh have a callback or a promise uh based implementation here and similarly for node.js the uh, most popular way to do it has been using this library called uh, request which as you can see has uh, you know 13 uh, million uh, downloads a week but the thing with Node.js is that Node.js uh, uh, request is that request only works with Node.js and does not work on the browser in the front end. Um, uh, even without using a library, there is it is possible to use the uh, HTTP mo inbuilt module in Node.js to make requests like this as well. But mostly people use the request module when they're working uh, with Node.js. Now, um, what is uh, the most popular way these days is Axios. Axios, as you can see, is growing in popularity. It has, it has been growing like from uh, uh, one million, uh, mm -hmm. you know, one point six million downloads sometime uh, back, like a year back. And now it's uh, almost four million downloads a week. Uh, it's growing in popularity because this is a module that works both in Node.js and uh, as well as on the front end. So if you are developing using front-end frameworks like Vue.js, React and all where some part of your code is executed in the back-end, some part in the front-end. So you can use Axios and it works perfectly well. So we're going to check out how to use uh, Axios uh, and uh, we will be checking it out how to use it both in front-end as well as back-end. Uh, and what we'll do is we will go to this website jsonplaceholder.tipico.com this is a fake REST API where we can make requests and uh, see JSON responses. So if you go to JSON placeholder.typico.com slash to do's, it uh, shows you uh, a list of uh, to do items like this, uh, the title and completed false or true like that. If you go to slash users, it gives you some JSON objects of uh, user objects, okay, each user object uh, having a name, username, email, and all that stuff. So it's a nice place to, you know, make requests and fetch some data and see if you're able to work with that data or not, okay. So um, uh, what we'll do is let's uh, try out with our, you know, in fact, with our browsers uh, first. So with Axios, how to install it for your browsers is you do npm install Axios in Node.js and for a browser you do script src unpackage.com slash Axios dist Axios min Node.js. So I'm going to do this way and try it out in our browser. Um, okay, first uh, that's what I'm going to try out. 